Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the NBA slate on DraftKings and Yahoo for Tuesday, January the 15th. Uh, we have another six game slate today. Like always, going to go through each position, talk about some of the guys I like at each position. I'll give my five plays for DraftKings, five plays for Yahoo. Uh, guys I expect to have in a lot of my lineups come lineup lock. Before we do get started though, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So that way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Uh, we'll start off at point guard. Russell Westbrook is a top option at this position. Great matchup today. He gets a matchup on the road against the Hawks. 11600 is his price on DK. Um, I do like Westbrook here, uh, but there are a lot of studs on this slate for cheaper that I think have similar upside to Westbrook. Uh, if you want to go to Joel Embiid at 10-5, I think he's in play. Uh, I really like Nikola Jokic at 10-3 against the Warriors. He's uh, $1,300 cheaper than Westbrook. Even Carl Anthony Towns at 10200 even though he's got a tough matchup with Embiid. Uh, Towns right now is just playing so well. Without Jimmy Butler, uh, Towns has been running the show for the Timberwolves. Has a monster usage rate, just has a ton of upside uh, now that he's no longer playing with Butler. Um, so those are guys I think have similar upside to Westbrook and that you can find for a lot cheaper. Uh, so for that reason, I'm not going to include Westbrook in the core five plays, but I'm definitely going to have some exposure to Westbrook today. Uh, the Hawks are just so bad defensively. They play at a very fast pace. Uh, they're one of the worst defensive teams against point guard, or against the point guard position. So it is a great spot for Westbrook. Uh, but I want to talk about some of these mid-tier plays, especially uh, on Yahoo. There's some mid-tier plays I like that it's not going to make me go too heavy on Westbrook today. Uh, Victor Oladipo on Yahoo is a guy I want to talk about. We'll talk about him on DraftKings as well. I think he's a pretty strong play here against the Suns. His price tag is really starting to drop. He's down to 7800 on DraftKings, which I just feel like is way too cheap for this matchup with the Suns. Um, over on Yahoo, he's at Shooting Guard, and he's $30 over here. Way too cheap as well. Uh, he's one of my favorite plays on this slate, especially on Yahoo. I'm going to be playing him in a ton of my Yahoo lineups. Uh, against the Suns, great matchup. The price tag's starting to fall because the production's been a little bad for Oladipo lately. Uh, but some of these games that Oladipo has been playing in have been blowouts. That game against Toronto, they lost that game by 16 uh, 16 points. He did play 34 minutes in that game, though. But um, against Boston, they lost that game by 27 points. He only played 26 minutes. Against the Knicks, only played 28 minutes. Uh, they won that game by 15 points. I think Oladipo came out of that, came out of that game with like six minutes left in the third or in the fourth quarter. So if that game was competitive, we would have got 34, 35 minutes out of Oladipo. Um, if this game against the Suns does stay competitive, we should get about 34, 35 minutes out of Victor Oladipo. Uh, just such a good matchup, a bad Phoenix team uh, defensively. It's a Phoenix team that will turn the ball over, so Oladipo definitely on Yahoo where you get three points for steals and blocks. Uh, just gives a lot more upside here than normal, so like Oladipo quite a bit. I think we get 40-plus fantasy points out of him. Uh, on DraftKings, I don't think he's as necessary at 7,800, but I still like him a lot. Uh, over on Yahoo where he's uh, $30, I think he's a great play over here. Now let's talk about some of the other guys at point guard. Uh, so in this mid-range, I want to talk about Brandon Ingram on Yahoo. I like him a lot over here. Uh, he's $24. He's seen his price tag drop a little bit. Uh, I think it's because the production has been a little bit down for Brandon Ingram uh, after pit, or after having some solid games with LeBron out. Uh, he had that 45-point game against Dallas. He put up, I think, uh, against the Kings, he put up 48 points in that game. LeBron was out for that game. Uh, production has kind of been up and down for Ingram lately, but some of these games have been uh, blowouts against the Jazz. They, that game was a blowout. We still got 34 minutes out of Ingram uh, against Detroit. They won that game by 13 points. I think Ingram might have been in some foul trouble in that game. I'm not exactly sure. I uh, don't think so. There was one game earlier this year where Ingram was in some foul trouble. It might have been that game against Dallas where he lost a few minutes. Uh, 37 minutes in that game. $24 uh, just feels like too cheap of a price tag for Brandon Ingram on Yahoo, especially given a matchup at home against the Bulls. I love him over here. Um, on DraftKings, I don't think he's as necessary because he's 6600 and there are definitely other guys you could play in that price range. Like, if you want to get up to maybe Jamal Murray, you could go to him. Uh, for cheaper, you could go, like, with Dennis Schroeder, who's in a great spot, also a v revenge game for him. Uh, so I don't think you really have to play Brandon Ingram on DraftKings, but over on Yahoo at $24. At shooting guard, I think he's a very strong play over here. And also the shooting guard position on Yahoo is not that great. Uh, like Oladipo, I think it's a really good play. I think Ingram and Levine are probably two good, good plays in that mid-range. Um, if you want to play Kevin Herter for value, I think he's a good option. But other than that, the uh, position's pretty bad. Like I'm not going to 
pay $19 for Oubre. Devin Booker's coming back for this game, so won't go there. Malcolm Brogdon at $22, not really necessary. I think Josh Richardson's a pretty good play, but there's only like four or five guys I really like at shooting guard on Yahoo, so I'm going to be playing a lot of lineups over there where I have uh, Ingram and Old Depot together. Um, DraftKings, though, if you want to get away from Ingram, I think that does make sense. Uh, but talking about some value here, did mention Dennis Schroeder. Uh, it is a good matchup for him against the Hawks. It is a revenge game, so you could go there if you want to play Dennis Schroeder. Definitely not a core play, though. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to shooting guard now. Um, so at shooting guard, I want to talk about Jimmy Butler here. 7,600, revenge game for him as well, facing the Timberwolves, his former team. Uh, I'm not too of a big revenge game guy. Like I don't just play guys because of revenge game, but this is definitely one of those spots where I think we're going to get a big game out of Jimmy Butler because of the narrative. Um, I love him over on Yahoo at small forward. Uh, this position's pretty bad if you can't pay up for George or Durant. Uh, I think Butler and Kuzma are both good plays towards the top, but after that, it gets really bad. Like, don't want to go to Chris Middleton at 29. I would just rather play Kuzma, rather play Butler. There really isn't any value here. I guess the one value play you could go to would probably be like DeAndre Bembry, but I doubt I play any Prince. I doubt I'm playing Josh Jackson with uh, Booker back. I'm not going to play Bogdanovich. Won't be playing any KCP, so... I expect myself to be playing a lot of Jimmy Butler on Yahoo at $31 at small four. On DraftKings, I still like him over here as well at $7,600. Uh, this just feels like one of those FU games is coming for Jimmy Butler where he's just going to take a ton of shots in this game. Whenever he gets to the ball in his hands, I feel like Jimmy Butler is going to be wanting to score. He did pretty much hate playing for this team. He said it uh, himself that he wanted out of Minnesota. So I expect a big game out of Jimmy Butler here. Love the narrative. Um, I think that's one of the reasons you can definitely consider Butler. I'm not usually a narrative guy, but I think this narrative is definitely in play. When you factor in just how badly Jimmy Butler wanted out of Minnesota, um, how badly he hated that team or how much he hated that team, uh, I think we see a big game out of Jimmy Butler here. I like running some lineups where you have him, maybe Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, I don't think, really liked playing with Butler either. We could see a big game out of Carl Anthony Towns as well. Uh, but definitely like Butler at shooting guard, small forward on DK, small forward on Yahoo. Kind of buying into the narrative here. Going to have plenty of Jimmy Butler exposure today. Uh, but now talking about other shooting guards on the slate. Uh, I mentioned Zach Levine specifically on Yahoo. Like him quite a bit at $24 if you're not, or $25 if you're not playing Brandon Ingram for a dollar cheaper. I think Zach Levine against the Lakers definitely in play if you want to go to him. Um, looking for value though at this position. Uh, there is a value play I like. I do like Kevin Herter. As a cheap option that we can go to, uh, the dude's been playing massive minutes lately. We've been getting high 30s in minutes out of Kevin Herter. I uh, like him a lot on DraftKings at 4800 where you can play him at shooting guard and small forward. Uh, over on Yahoo, he's $16 at shooting guard. If you need to go cheap at this position, I think he's an option, but definitely not as much of a priority uh, as he is on DraftKings at 4800 Dude has 35, close to 40-point upside. We've seen it lately from Kevin Herter. Uh, with how many minutes he's playing, 36 to 38 minutes a night. Uh, I think that's probably about the minute projection you put for him. It's 36 to 38, somewhere in that range. And I'd say he probably projects for about 25, 26, 27 points, which is good value at 4,800. He could obviously score more than that. Uh, when Herter's making his shots, they do try and get him the ball. Uh, in that Sixers game, late in the game, he was knocking down his shots, and they were kind of trying to feed him the ball, uh, letting him keep shoot. Had 29 points in that game and 42 fantasy points. Uh, we're not going to get a ton of peripherals from Kevin Herter. Uh, I think the 7 assist, 8 rebound game against Miami was sort of an outlier. He is a little bit scoring dependent, but uh, in a fast-paced game against OKC, we could definitely see Herter knock down some shots. Uh, and at 4,800, I think he does return value on DraftKings, so like him quite a bit at shooting guard as a value play. Uh, but moving on to small forward now, we'll look at the top of this position. Um, you have Giannis at 11,200 facing the, uh, the Heat. He is projected to play today, even though DraftKings has him as questionable. Uh, he's probable. He's expected to play. I expect Giannis does play. Uh, even if he does play, though, at 11-2 against the, uh, against the Heat, not the best matchup. I think I would just rather play Westbrook for a little bit more or even save some salary, go down to Jokic or Towns. Uh, so don't see myself playing a ton of Giannis today. I think small forward probably is where I want to go to the mid-range. Uh, Kyle Kuzma and Jimmy Butler I do like in the mid-range if you want to play them. You can play Herter. At this position, I think he is also a pretty good option. Value doesn't look too good at this position. I don't see a ton of cheap plays I really want to go to. Uh, probably going to be playing a lot of the mid-tier plays at this position. Guys like Herter, uh, Jimmy Butler, Kyle Kuzma. These are the kind of the guys that stand out to me. Maybe some Josh Richardson as well at 6,300. 
Uh, it seems a bit underpriced, but probably it for small forward. Pretty quickly went over this position. Like I don't see myself really paying up for KD or Ben Simmons today. Definitely won't be paying 9400 for Ben Simmons. 9700 for KD I could get behind, but I think I would just rather find a little bit of extra salary and get up to Jokic, get up to Towns, and Bead. Would rather play those guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to power forward now. Um, so at the top of this position, you've got Giannis and KD, kind of the same guys we've talked about. Uh, we'll talk about some of these mid-range options. Uh, two guys that seem underpriced, in my opinion, are definitely Draymond Green and Laurie Markkinen. Uh, Draymond Green, 6,300 against the Nuggets. Laurie Markkinen, 6,100 against the Lakers. Uh, both guys seem underpriced. If I was playing a lot of lineups, I would have exposure to both guys, but I don't think they're going to be core plays for me, going to be in a ton of my lineups, but definitely would get some exposure with how underpriced they seem. Uh, looking for value here. It's a revenge game for Dario Sarge. Uh, won't be factoring too much into that since Sarge doesn't really play a ton of minutes, but uh, it is a revenge game, so maybe they do give him a few more minutes. He's 4600 though, not the best price tag. If I was playing like 150 lineups, I'd throw Sarge in one or two uh, just for the revenge game narrative, but nothing more than that. Really isn't any value that I love at power forward. Um, besides Amari Spellman, I do want to talk about him. Uh, so Dwayne Dedman is doubtful for today. Dedman was out last game on Sunday, I believe. And Amari Spellman did start uh, in place of Dedman and played 30 minutes and put up 31 draftings points. Uh, I expect in this matchup against the Thunder, uh, with they, or since they do have Steven Adams, we're probably going to see Alex Lynn start in this game to defend Steven Adams. But if Spellman starts again... You could definitely go to him at 3,800. I expect Lynn starts, and I expect Spellman comes off the bench, but if I'm wrong and Lynn comes off the bench and Spellman starts, uh, Spellman could definitely be a value play we go to at 3,800 just with how cheap he is. If he starts, he's probably going to play upper 20s, low 30s in minutes. Uh, definitely could be a good value option at his price tag. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to center now. Uh, t position today that has a lot of top-tier options. I've uh, got Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, Carl Anthony Towns, all three guys I have interest in. Uh, but right now, my favorite play is Jokic at 10,300 against the Warriors. I love Jokic here uh, in a fast-paced game against the Warriors, a game that expects to stay close. I think right now, uh, Denver is like one-point underdog, so this game is going to be close. I think we see a big game out of Nikola Jokic. Um, if the Nuggets want to win this game, it's probably going to be because Jokic puts up one of those monster games where he goes for... 40, 10, and 10, has a massive triple-double, kind of like he did against Portland, 66 DraftKings points in that game, 63 against the Heat, had a triple-double in that game, uh, I think he had a triple-double against the Clippers as well, 58 DraftKings points, uh, Jokic is just a beast, this guy's one of the best players in the league, he's playing like an MVP right now, uh, definitely would be up there in the MVP race, uh, earlier this year against the Warriors, he did struggle a bit with only 46 DraftKings points in 32 minutes, I would expect a much better game out of Nikola Jokic. Uh, even though the Nuggets are starting to get healthy and Will Barton is back, I think Gary Harris might play today. He's questionable right now, but he could play. Even though the Nuggets are getting healthy, uh, Jokic is still pretty much the front runner for this team. He's pretty much the guy that puts all the weight, or they put all the weight on Jokic's shoulder. So I like him a lot here at 10 3. Uh, if I had to choose between him and Bede or Towns, it would be Jokic. But if I was playing a lot of lineups, I would definitely. Spread my exposure out a bit across those three guys, but Jokic would still be the guy I would have the most exposure to. Um, but if you're not going to Jokic in the mid-range, there is a value play I want to talk about here. I do want to talk about Alex Lynn at 4,100. I expect he starts today uh, in place of Dwayne Dedman, who is doubtful, unlikely to play. Uh, just given the matchup against OKC and the matchup against Steven Adams, I think we see Lynn start, and I think he's a great play on DraftKings, great play on Yahoo as well. Uh, I forgot to plug in Jokic, but I like Jokic a lot on Yahoo at $41. And then Lynn is minimum price on Yahoo, and he is definitely a good value play over here as well. Uh, like I said, I expect he starts for Dwayne Dedman given the matchup, and I expect he plays about mid-20s in minutes. Could reach uh, upper 20s, low 30s, depending on how well he's playing. Uh, Lynn's a pretty good point-per-minute guy. If he plays mid-20s in minutes, he's probably going to return pretty good value on this price of $4,100. Uh, so I like Alex Lynn quite a bit. If we get news... Uh, that he's not starting, I think you can definitely lower your projection on him, lower your minutes on him, but uh, I do have a feeling he's going to start just given the matchup, uh, which is definitely going to put him in play for me at 4,100, uh, a cheap center option you could go to. Uh, and then Spellman, obviously, if he starts instead of Lynn, uh, then Spellman at 3,800 could also be a value play we consider, but I think that's it for center, guys, and I think that is it for the video, so uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully it did help you. 
if you enjoyed the video, just make sure you click that like button down below. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Uh, but yeah, guys, good luck tonight. On the six-game slate, we will see you in the next video. Peace.